Hey everybody, this is Peter, and in this video segment, we're going to install Panda Security's Managed Office Protection. Um, before we actually get into the install, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of what this is. Most organizations have a central management antivirus slash malware server that pushes, you know, updated signatures and policies to the antivirus agents on desktops and laptops throughout the organization. This is essentially the same. The two biggest differences is you do not have to acquire any hardware or licensing for an operating system because the server is not stored in your environment. It's actually a web-based um, application that you connect to on the Panda security side in order to manage remotely all of your antivirus agents. The second thing that a uh, great feature is that Panda security um, happened to you know they were able to shrink down an antivirus agent um, or endpoint protection agent to five megs as opposed to 10 20 30 megs of um, some of the other competitors out there so that's actually nice it gives a, a small footprint on your actual operating system and doesn't bog down your system so first thing we want to do here is let's act as the client okay we purchase this we uh, panda send us our username and password we're gonna go ahead and log on to their server in order to push out an agent to one system so let's go ahead we'll log on we'll press enter the first thing you're gonna see is you know a nice little graph you know it sees that we have five licenses for you we haven't used any um, and <clears throat> We'll go ahead and push it out. Now, the thing that you have here is you have default groups and default profiles on your, you know, initial build here is when you first log on. You don't have to use those. You don't really delete them or anything. You can't delete them, actually. Um, but you can create specific ones to show you, you know, or to by department, like IT guys, sales guys, HR, accounting, so on, so on, and so on. So let's go into our default profile here and actually show you some of the options you have. You have, you know, turn on any virus and malware protection, turn on personal firewall, enable automatic updates so on so on and so on so you can turn on specific things for some groups some for others um, sorry for some profiles some for others all depends on what you want to do we're going to keep the defaults you can also have a look here you can schedule scans within a profile you can send out warnings so you can put your email server address um, IP address or name as well as your email address to email you um, you know if someone gets infected or their protection has been disabled or so on and so on all right so let's take a quick look here at uh, groups as well in groups you'll see that we have the default one you know default group and then the profile that's assigned to it and what computers are in our are, are specific, specific groups so we're not going to look at that we're going to keep the defaults and move forward so let's move into our ins installation now you'll see there's a few different ways or a few a couple different ways you can actually install this you can basically email a user directly as we're going to do in this video or you can download the distribution tool and send it out and push it out you know via GPO or whatever it may be so like I said in this in this video we're going to actually click on our send via email link here and you'll see it opens up our you know email application of choice and we're going to email this to peter at the academy.ca so peter's our first user that we're going to actually push this agent out to all right so go ahead and press on send and we'll bring up our <clears throat> outlook here let's see what we got all right do a send and receive there's our email let's shrink that down for a sec you can see it looks ex you know exactly the same as the one we just sent We'll click on the link and we'll download and install the waagent.msi file. And you'll see, really, guys, it's just a quick next, next install. So let's go ahead, double click on that MSI, MSI file. We'll run it. And you'll see it's next, next. It usually takes about 20, 30 seconds, although in this video it'll probably take about three seconds and it's done. So after you do that, Panda, the endpoint security agent's installed. Panda, the agent, that is, will automatically go out to the server and connect to it in order to get updates or whatever it may be um, before it actually wants to reboot your system. So again, it connects to your ser the Panda server, it gets updates, it gets the proper profile um, that's been assigned to you, um, it, the proper group that you've been in, and so on and so on. So <clears throat> let's show that happening right now. We'll bring that screen over from the left-hand side. And here we go. You can see it's connecting to the server. It's doing its thing. Um, and after that happens again, we have to reboot our system, bring it back up. And what we want to do when we actually bring the system back up is just show you that it's properly installed. So fast forward two, three minutes, guys. And there's our system. We've rebooted. We're actually going to log on to the system now and show you exactly what's happening. So remember in the first in the first uh, part when we first logged on in the status screen there you saw that we had five free licenses and none were used well now you see we have four free licenses and one is used or sorry zero were used I apologize guys um, so let's go into computers and you'll see now 
There's a computer named Hatebreed, which is the name of my home computer. Um, I'm not a hater, guys. I just like the band name Hatebreed. <laughs> so if we actually hover over that, you'll see now that it'll actually give us the IP address of our system, what type of operating system that we're actually running, the last time it actually connected. You see all our status updates are all okay and green's okay. And you see that our file protection, mail, IAM protection, internet browsing protection, firewall protection, all enabled, all is good. If any of those got disabled though, we would get an alert. So that's how you install it guys. Thanks very much for coming out and uh, we'll definitely see you next time. Take it easy.